it's exciting to have such a high demand school system. The boundary process is hard. When we talk about the need for boundary changes, we really talk about what are we trying to provide for our students. We care about these kids. You care about all these kids. What are some things maybe that you need to think about? In all honesty, I think change is hard. I mean, I'm, I'm living it myself as a parent, and I think it's our first reaction is to be to be frustrated with it, and that's just human nature. But I think we really have reached a point that, I mean, this is so desperately needed in our, in our community. That domino effect of families needing a space for their kids to learn has affected a lot of our buildings. With or without the referendum passing, we knew that we would need to engage the school communities in the boundary process. Currently in our district, we have 62 portables. So as we remove portables, we are losing classroom space. This has been a four-year process. Our school board started reviewing our facilities based on community input two years in a row about higher class size in 2015. The soonest the boundary changes would take effect is fall of 2019. How many drops do we do? Our district's mission and vision is to ensure that all students leave our system prepared to be successful in life. We want our schools to have space to connect with kids and offer quality programming, class size that's reasonable for teachers to connect with kids. We want to continue to offer that, not just for one year, but we're committed to do what we can to minimize disruption and make changes that will stick for five to 10 years. That's cool. We have just amazing people and remarkable programs in all of our buildings at all levels. For those families that are concerned, I would say we're preparing for you. Those relationships that we form in our buildings are so important to us. We know that they're going to be in good hands. This change to create new boundaries for 38,000 students, well, our board, they're making sure that the decisions they make are the voice of the community. 